is obviously uh, a terrible crime, and I think uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has a responsibility uh, to find the killers and prosecute them to the fullest extent which, of the law. Which he said that he, to Secretary Kerry he's going to do. Which he said he would do. And I think this is a demonstration of how you treat crime in a civil society versus what Hamas did that began uh, this confrontation. Some people say, well, see, this is equivalent. You have a cycle of violence and you can see the riots, and therefore it's all the same. It's not all the same. The, the motivation for the killing of the Arab, I think, clearly was revenge. It's utterly unacceptable. But the real problem remains the war Hamas is waging against Israel. Well, there's a big difference. So Prime Minister Netanyahu condemned the killing of this Arab teen and told Secretary Kerry that he's going to do something about it. You don't have, that's not the response you get from Hamas for the killing of three Israeli teens at all. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's, oh. a, that's a profound difference in the response. I mean, I mean, both murders are absolutely, you know, a, a disgraceful. No, the but, one doing, <clears throat> doing uh, committing one atrocity doesn't justify no. committing another. But the motivation on the Hamas side is part of the larger war against Israel. And the reason there's no condemnation of the killing of the three Israeli teens is that I'm sure it was part of a larger effort to terrorize Israeli so, society. So what does Prime Minister Netanyahu do? Just uh, sort of, you know, this is just sort of the cycle of violence there? Or, you know, does, this time does he take a different step? Well, in a perfect world, I think he would be able to, to separate the two uh, crimes and look at the... Uh, Hamas attack and respond in a strategic way. But, but you can see already our State Department is calling on him to exercise restraint and being critical of the killing of the Arab as if the two are morally equivalent, and they are not morally equivalent. So Netanyahu's got a very difficult task. The uh, reporting from Israel is his security cabinet is divided on what the response is. I think we're just going to have to wait and see. Well, he's certainly, I mean, there's certainly a lot going on in the Middle East for me because they've obviously still got overriding all this, the problems with well, the Iran. Whole, the I, mean, whole, I mean, everything is going... The whole region is in chaos, and he has to make a decision now on the specific issue in front of him. But I don't think he can ignore the fact that ISIS is running loose in Syria and Iraq. The Iranian nuclear weapons program is chugging right along. And uh, indeed, it's just a mess. Anyway, Ambassador, thank you, sir. Thank you.